everyone. Thanks for joining us for today's Kettle Land Living. I'm Sophie Daly, and Ashley is off on her Alaskan adventure. And I'm Emily Quinn. We've got another great show for you today. And we've got another update from Ashley's Alaskan adventure. <laughs> and while it still may be early in her trip, she sent no shortage of content for us to share with you. In her report back on their first full day in Alaska, they drove the Turnagain Arm. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, Ashley was sure to let us know the backstory on that name, so we'll find out more there. It's called the Turn Again because people had to keep turning again and again. She even got a wildlife surprise or two in the great outdoors at a wildlife sanctuary. Wow, look at that. Mm. And rounding out their day, the group went to the Aleska Resort and rode the tram to the top. In fact, they had such a good time at the resort in their free time. She, her husband, and a few other group members went back to the resort. Oh, wow. Wow. It looks like she's having an incredible time, but I wouldn't expect anything less. No. That bear picture just gets me. <laughs> I love it. I know. I love the, the idea of Alaska um, and seeing all of that is just incredible. We can just live through her here. Yes, you know, vicarious. there's nothing wrong with that. No, no, Someday more. we'll get to go, but if she just keeps sending yeah, pictures, we, we don't want have more. to worry about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think so. Oh. Well, that's true. Well, uh, Ashley isn't the only one having an adventure. We're about to cover everything from the best books of the year to a bit of live music, too. Which made us start to wonder, what's your favorite book? Mm. Um, this has been throwing me off since we brought this up yeah. because we both talked, you know, we used to love reading. It's not that we don't still love no, reading. I'd love to read. I, I, I guess I uh, maybe take in more podcasts okay. than, yeah. than reading yep. the actual book, but yeah. I'd like to think of myself as sitting in a chair reading a book. That sounds I'd like, like a lovely thought. I like to think thought. of myself yeah. that way as yeah. well, but I think the excuse of I'm too busy to read. Ugh. A podcast is something you can do when you're busy, though. I know, just driving and whatnot. So, is there a good podcast? Oh, plenty. Um, probably. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot here. Yeah, none that I can mention that uh, are uh, mostly just, you know, gossip sessions. Yeah, right. Things like right. that. But yeah. um, uh, a way to enjoy reading uh, through audiobooks or podcasts, I guess, is the way to yeah, do it. That's a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. I have um, a book that I started, you know, maybe six months ago. Sure. I got halfway through. It was incredible, amazing. Chugging and then along. suddenly, you know, like summer started up and you're running around mm -hmm. like crazy. And I said, okay, I'll just put it here and I'll come back to it in the fall or the winter or mm -hmm. next January and the yes. summer. Who knows? In the winter. I've got to get through it because I told everybody, oh, I'm reading this book. It feels so good to be reading again. And then... Yes. You kind of fell off. That's okay, though. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll report back. Okay, great, it. great. 